Hi everyone! I'm very excited for this video because we finally have something new from Miniverse. I got this pack. It's called the MGA Miniverse Make It Mini Sushi Restaurant Pack. I got this one at Walmart. I'll go ahead and link where I got it down below. Hopefully there is still some. But I'm super thrilled because I have a feeling this definitely confirms we have a series 3 wave 2. I say wave 2 because it still says series 3 but we know that these are new items to the collection. So if you noticed here the dinosaur was from the previous one but this one has some ribs. We haven't seen those yet. Let's go ahead and take off the first wrapper. So the first wrapper was definitely different with the cake but this one I think is the same as the previous one. It has a little like sundae anything else that we see let me take a look at the previous series 3 yeah it's the same I think yeah it also has the ribs here so I think the only thing that changed was the wrapper the first wrapper with the cake instead of the hamburger but let's dive in let's get this bad boy open and see what the collector's guide is going to look like we know it's going to be something sushi related but I'm eager and excited to see what else this collection will come with. First thing out of the capsule is the table. I'm going to build it. This is what it looks like, but we will not be using it. We're going to use our counter. I just really like the space that we have in the counter. So we'll use this one today. Next thing in the capsule is the mat. It's a really nice subtle orange, almost yellow. Very, very pretty. Here is the collector's guide. How exciting! Let's see what we will have. The first two recipes that we have is the Ube Cupcakes, the Crepsilla Mode. That is so cool because we're getting new sprinkles, new resin. For the crepes, I think that everything we may already have, but that's still really cool. We have the Summer Salad with the barbecue ribs. That's also new items there. The bento box and the tamaki sushi, these are the ones that we should be getting today. We have the tacos, the veggie burger, and I think both of these are vegetarian versions of the previous ones. We have some cherry jelly, yay, new mold. <laughs> we have, what is this, the lime jelly and the princess roll cake and the cake. I think these are going to be amazing, cannot wait to get my hands on some of these, but we shall have to wait and see when they come up. I have not seen them in stores, so hopefully soon. We have here some chopsticks. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what else we have in this capsule. We have some tongs and the little handle for the capsule. In our first bag, this one is the same design. They're staying with the same designs as the first Series 3 rollout. And we have here, let's see, Itchy Nissan Foods Tamaki Kit. That is so cool. Those definitely look like little celery sticks. How cool is that? Let's see what else we have. We have the little bowl. I think in real life, these are supposed to be wooden as well as the little wooden spoon. On our next bag, we have some rice. We had already seen this rice. I believe this is the rice. And then let's see, what does it say in the bag? 100% happy. <laughs> let's go ahead and set this one in our counter and open our next bag. We have, ooh, we have some nori. I'm really interested to see what the texture is like to see how it compares to the nori that was in the mini brands so we'll definitely take a look and see in just a moment this is what the little bag looks like and in the back what does it say um 100 happy too <laughs> that is so cute miniverse never fails with their design their ideas i think i'm just in love with miniverse and for our resin bag we have Ooh, we have some rice vinegar. I do believe we already had this type of resin before. Let's take a look at the recipe. So it definitely is the little rolls. And let's see, how are we going to make these? 
mix the rice and resin, add a little lime, wrap and add, no, add your ingredients, then wrap it. I think we could do that. Let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what we come up with. Let's go ahead and add in some of the special blend of rice. How much should we pour? I think this should be a good amount. We can always build up as we need it. And we also have here the rice vinegar. Isn't this little container lovely? I really like this color combination. It is good stuff. Yes, it is. Let me go ahead and pour some into the rice. Mm, I think a little bit more. I think this should be enough and we need to get this mixed so let's go ahead and grab our little spoon and start giving it a good good mix until everything is stuck together i think it's looking a little bare maybe we'll need some more but we also need some more resin there is a good amount of resin in this bottle so that won't be an issue let me go ahead and just mix it up a little bit more and we're really going to play it just by ear on how much we need let me see it's looking nice and sticky now i wonder if we should add oh no <laughs> i dropped it but everything is safe i wonder if we should add a little bit more rice i think what we'll do is we'll start building our little roll and then if we need more we'll add some more right now so the texture of these is a little bit different. One of the sides definitely has some texture to it. This outer side, you could definitely even see it here. You see that? So thank you, Miniverse. <laughs> I was going to be a little bit embarrassed if you didn't have this texture on it. Let's go ahead and add our rice. I think it still needs a little bit more. Let me grab just a tiny bit more. I need to grab a spoon though because it's really sticking to the other spoon so let me just do this and i think that should be good i think now we are ready for the other ingredients which are going to be the veggies and the fish i wonder if it's going to cure because it says to roll it up like this and then to cure it once you add everything so we shall see I hope you're able to see the details in the celery. You could see all the little lines. How cool is that, right? I think we have salmon, tuna, celery, carrots, the white veggie. I really do not know what it is, but maybe some type of, hmm, I really can't think of what it could be, but regardless, it's going to look amazing in our little roll. So let me go ahead and add in the salmon. I really hope this cures. <laughs> I'm questioning if I should do this in parts or just adding everything together. I think I'm just going to add everything now and see if it cures. I'm going to grab a piece of the white veggie, then some celery, and last but not least, a piece of carrot. I'm going to roll this up really nicely and then we're going to go ahead and cure it. This is what it looks like complete. I think we did a very, very good job. I'm going to add a little bit more resin to make sure the nori is fully rolled. And this is what they look like finished. These are so detailed. I really recommend these. And here are the little chopsticks. Next, we're going to open another capsule. This is also the series 3 wave 2 this one should be the bento box it should be if walmart sent us the right pack <laughs> which i'm pretty sure they did but let's go ahead and get this opened i already like the little mat i know i had said this a little bit before but isn't this color theme so pretty it's so calming soothing it really goes with that sushi theme right if your little mat is a little bent, don't worry, just put it in between some pages in a book and it will flatten. We have here some spicy sauce. I wonder what color this one will be. I'm curious if it's anything similar to the hot sauce for the tacos. What else do we have? We have some, what are these? Gyoza. 
these are so cute they look like little dumplings but the ones that are fried so i think they're called pot stickers i might be really wrong but these are really cute i love how they added that side that is a little burnt and crispy that is so cool <laughs> let's see what else we have Ooh, look at this we have a little box this is the bento box it is adorable this is definitely a nice addition to the miniverse collection and we still have a couple of more things to open we have here the little chives aren't these adorable look at that they are so so tiny oh i just remembered I think these had already came out, but I don't have them yet. I think they came out with the potatoes, but I could be wrong. Here we have some, let's see, caraje, maybe. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced that, but it looks like little chicken nuggets. <laughs> it is so cute. Like little boneless wings. It has a little slice of lime too, or lemon. Let's take a look. What else do we have? we were forgetting one of the most important things we have some rice this one's a little bit different this one is cooked rice and the other one was just a blend of rice how cool is that we have another addition to our collection yes miniverse thank you let's take a look at the recipe something looks a little bit off with the proportions of the little recipe guides i think they were just bent in the wrong place but that's okay let's see so we add the rice, no rice and yen. Then you add the chicken, you add the little gyoza, then you put the chives and the resin. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than the recipe simply because it reminds me of the lifestyle series where you add the little pebbles without resin and you accidentally drop it and everything just spills. So I think I'm going to add a bunch of rice and add resin because I do not want it to tip over and have a mess everywhere but you could follow the recipe as is if you would like I'm just weird this way so let me go ahead and now add the gyoza while we still have everything uncured I think this is so cute I want to put them all facing down except for one so that we're able to see that brown crispiness <laughs> and then we have here our karage so let's go ahead and add it to our rice these are too cute we can use these for so many things i can't wait to get my hands on one more just one more <laughs> here is the spicy sauce that we'll be using let's take a look and see what the color is like Ooh, it's really nice and vibrant it's not as translucent i'm really loving this color this would be amazing for those red enchiladas i have had in mind for some time now let me add some of the sauce as well to these we are now going to add our little chives let me sprinkle some of those in just like this and now i do believe we are missing just one thing the little wedge of lemon no lime i always get those confused for some reason here it is it is nicely cured nothing falls off just these because i didn't really add any resin i forgot i'll do that afterwards but it looks gorgeous thank you miniverse this is amazing i love it this is what it looks like, unfortunately, because how I cured it, I'm not going to be able to close it, but I'm okay with that since we'll be displaying them anyway. Here are the chopsticks, and how about we open the other capsule? I know we already have this one, but I wasn't too happy with the one that I built before, so let's go ahead and open it and see what we get. I'm glad they did this pack because if you think about it, it has two new items. So you are 100% guaranteed that you're adding two items to your collection. And if you have not had the opportunity to unbox the sashimi, this is a good opportunity for you to get the item that you may be missing in your collection. If it is this one here that we're unboxing, but we have some rice. And then in this orange bag, we have the mold with the sashimi so i think it's supposed to be tuna salmon shrimp and i'm not too sure what the other piece of fish is 
let's go ahead and see what else we have we have the rice vinegar this one is just a little tiny bit different because it has a different color cap but other than that i think the color is very similar here we have the little tray here we have the blue mat and this is the old collector's guide for the first part of series three so this is the one that we will be building let me show you the instructions so let's see blend the rice with resin so let's go ahead and do that first i'm going to use the leftover rice that i had already from the previous bento box so Let's go ahead and add in the resin. I'm also going to be using the resin that we have left over. That way we finish it <laughs> and we have a new one to use for something else. Let's go ahead and give this a good mix. Initially, the resin looks a little bit yellow, but once you start mixing it, that color really goes away and you can notice it. So don't worry. Next, we need to scoop up some rice to add to our mold. I think we need a smaller spoon though, so let me grab one of these. And let's go ahead and scoop them in there. We need a third one and a fourth one. I think I may need a little bit more rice. Let me just press them and then we will see if we need more or if we're good. And I think we're good. <laughs> I think we did a good job in estimating how much we needed. I'm just going to go ahead and get these cured and we will be right back. So this is what they look already cured. I think we added just the right amount of resin and rice. They look a little bit better than the ones I did before. So that's a win. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just finish taking these out this one has a little piece that was missing resin but we'll put that one facing the back <laughs> now we're going to grab our tacky glue i'm just going to add a little dollop of glue on them instead of the resin because last time that i made this one they wouldn't cure so i think going with tacky glue will be the best option for these let me just try and get them on there this is the shrimp one here is i'm guessing this is salmon or no this one's the salmon right can you tell i know nothing about fish <laughs> and i think we're done i think we did a good job with these just making sure they're nice and straight we're not going to cure these of course because we used a little bit of the tacky glue so here are the three items or recipes that we created today which one's your favorite i think these two are my favorite <laughs> but because they're new right and i think miniverse really did a good good job with the theme thinking them out i wanted to show you my new little section here in my kitchen so i went ahead and purchased some little containers i'll tell you more about them next time but i'm really liking how we color coordinated them and it really lets us maximize the use of this space so i'll share with you a little bit more of those next time but here is the three recipes that we made please don't forget to let me know which one's your favorite bye everybody